Well, the car You'll be waiting here. Because it's the road here, so it's very, yeah. very, very loud with the cars going past. Yeah. Now there's a van coming past and a yeah, car. Yeah, we'll be past. here for a while. Yeah. Anyway, we we've come down to where we have the boat, and we're just going to go on the beach here today, and we're going to have a mooch around today here. It is still uh, a legal ormering tide. So we're just going to go for a wander out on the rocks, see what we can find. And uh, I mean, we weren't really too bothered about it, but we decided to, um, we thought we'd go because we thought we'd get a video up, you see, this time. So. Good bit of exercise. Good. And we need the exercise because I need to get fit before the, before the year's out. And you'll also see, you may also see, I'll just show you, car's changed. <laughs> <laughs> Basically, we had to borrow our car. So, <laughs> so, so anyway, we got down here. Because Rebecca's van is still not working, so we're gonna have to get that sorted. Yeah. And mine's not working, so we have to borrow a car. And hopefully, this one stays working. We hope. So. We hope so. Yeah. Right. Anyway, we'll see you down the beach. Here she comes. Taking my time. Taking her time. Yes, yeah, so we'll be heading out onto our outer reef. You'll be very careful when you go on this outer reef because you can get cut off as well out there if you get the tides wrong. So, luckily I've been going out there for years. You see this little rock here? One that's been flipped. It's that simple to put it back. But you know, they don't. Some of them. That one I can understand why they didn't put it back, but some of these other rocks, seriously. Probably the gloves you were holding. You put them on your hand for a start, then you gave me mine. Uh, I'll go this way because over here you can find them occasionally. But I think everything's been done here. Well, Rebecca's just found a scallop. Show it to the camera. You see, it's a shore one, or a shallow one, because the shells are always so dirty. That shows yeah. it's been in shallow water for a while. When you get the clean ones, normally they're really deep water, like the divers get, but they always get all this growth on them when they're shallow. Right, let's get to it. Let's have a look around here. I don't want to stay, I just want to have a quick look. It's a brown crab, he's not long changed his shell. See, he's very pale, almost translucent. So, put him back, he'll find his way. Just under. Just under. And he's big enough. There we go. 
nice one. Let me put the gauge on that one. There's a little crevice, look. So it's all been turned here, but looks like there's a couple of rocks in here that haven't been touched, smaller ones, because when people go in the water, they don't always see the smaller rocks. I'm just going to move these out of the way. Let's have a look. So those are all turned, but there's a small one there. The small one. There we go. Small stones, you see. And I'm hoping this rock. Yep. See? And I'm going to have to gauge him. And not that one. Not that one. One more rock. Nope, not on that one. There you go. Let's see what we got out of that. Alright, we've got two for sure. That one. There's one. Good one. That one I think is too small. Yeah, I'm going to put that one back. That one's big enough. Take that one. So we've got another one. There's two out of there. And the last one is. Oh, it's legal, but this one's legal, but it touches the gauge, so I'm going to put that one back. I won't bother with that one. We've got two out of that, so I'm not worried about that. Put this back and carefully put this one back. There. So, two. Gonna bring your bring your knife over. That one wasn't even the crick, he was just walking along, he's undersized, but he was out for a, a walk. <laughs> And have a pop at these. That one there would be nice. Yeah, see it. These I think it's just that one might be size, that one's too small. But that one there looks big enough. There is one further down, but I don't know if it's big enough. Out once you've released it. There you go. There you go, that's a nice one. Perfect. I mean you can have a go at the others if you want, but I don't know if they're big enough. I don't know if they're big enough. So I've spotted something from a distance. I think you can see more than one. You start counting them. Let me see them with the camera. So I saw that we saw this from a distance. Yeah. And as you can see, possibly, there's a big ormer there and abalone. And there's a bunch of babies all the way along. Maybe that's one tiny one. Six, seven, eight, nine. There's one right back there. Yeah. Ten, eleven. Ten, eleven. That's it. There's the daddy there's about a dozen, you could say. You probably missed one or two. Yeah. There's a dozen. We're just going to get the biggest one out. And the rest can stay there because they're all small. But really good to see. 
It's been years since it's been like this. Well, it's come back since they brought in all the, enforced all the rules and regs on it. Use the hook if you can't get it. If you drop it back in, you might have trouble getting it out again if it sucks on again. If you get behind it. And there's an epic battle going on. <laughs> it's Rebecca versus the abalone. Who's winning? At the moment it's the abalone. He's fighting back all the way. Oh, and she's got him in a headlock. Here he comes. And he's given up. There we go. That's the big one. So there you go. Nice big abalone. Yep. Well, medium. Medium to big. Yeah. So yeah, the, well and truly over a good couple of centimetres. Yep, perfect, perfect. The others, I think, are all too small unless you see anything. No, different. I mean, look at them. So, we've just come across another, uh, I think it's four or six. No, I think it's six armors all oversized because you can see they're big enough. It's going well. So, that's, that's the biggest one we had out of that line of. Almost out of the creek. Nice, another nice big one. And see you, Joe. Little baby one. We'll put him back. In fact, we'll put him down there out the way so he can get stood on. Right. You know. Let's get moving again. I think we'll start making our way. Yeah. Yeah, we're going to start making our way back up the beach now. We. We could stay for another hour or so, but to be honest, we got plenty. We just, you know, save some for another day. Or save some for somebody else, whichever comes first. Perfect day. Steve coming in. Oh, yeah. Holy cow. A nice one just under the stone here. <laughs> it shows, eh? It does indeed. There we go. Just under a stone on the way home. Right. Back. Another baby under there as well. Yeah, we got one that one. <laughs> He's too small. There you are, look, another one on top of the rock there. See where they put the rocks over, they tried to go round under the rocks again. But once that weed starts to rot, it's not good. Of course, if they dry out too long, we're going to get cooked in the sun. Oh, there he is. Here's another great thing that Troy's found. Look at the size of that. Great big starfish. Look at that, look. Just pulled this one that was half in the sand and it had an edge. Yeah. And that edge yeah. has a big ormer. I say that one is, there's only one tiny little part of the shell that's in. So Throw it out. Put it back. We don't take, we don't need to take it. Yeah. We only take the big stuff. I'm the same with that one. Chuck it back. Yep, chuck it back. They'll find their way. Just one more. Okay, 
Daniels, but it looks good on my hand. Yeah, I think that's a weaver. The only lesser weaver. So, a toxic species of fish. Yeah, that's a weaver. Look at the spine, look, the black fin. Yeah. That's uh, a lesser weaver. Stand on that, you'll know about it. Don't often see them, but I managed to hook that one out of the sand. See? You see that top fin comes up? Yeah. Little black fin, that's where the poison is. This is what you've got to be careful of if you ever go for sand deals, grabbing sand deals in the sand that you don't grab that thing. Because I tell you now, leave you in a world of pain. Right. Right, let's go. So this is some of the ormas we had today and we're going to be casseroling up these later. Now I wanted to show you this one because this one here, you might better see it, hopefully you can, this one here. You see how mottled that shell is. That is reaching the end of its life. That's about as big as they get. That's actually a 12 centimetre orma. I've actually measured that one. And that's about as far as they go normally before the shell starts to break up and they die. It's a sponge that kind of eats into the shell and destroys the shell. Now I have seen, the biggest orm I've ever seen, I saw one once which was 14 centimetres. And the biggest one I've ever actually caught myself is 13 and a half. But they are unusual when they get that big. Um, you do find them, but not so often. Normally you'll find them up, up to sort of 12 maximum. And, and then that's kind of it for them. There's also a scallop there, nice big scallop. So, one red wrecker found that you'll just see in the video probably. And as you can see, like I said before, it's covered in pinky, weedy stuff. They, they get this because they're in the shallows and they get all mucky when they're shallow water like that. Anyway, we better get on and uh, get these casseroled.
So we fixed the alternator and put a new belt on it. Drives like a new car now. <laughs> but on a more serious note, the car is actually fixed. Um, we sorted the alternator out, we got a new belt on it, and now it runs fine again. And Rebecca's van, we got a new battery for that. Got it tested, the old one, and it's failed, even though it's under warranty, the old one. So that had to have a new battery, and now everything's fine with that as well. But the car you just saw, this one. I did actually buy this, yes. <laughs> so I'd considered um, selling this car or getting rid of it at the end of the year. I was going to keep it for one more year, and then I was going to move on and get something else. But with the price of cars, the way they're rocketing the second-hand market at the moment, I decided maybe I should uh, get in there a bit early. And this came up at a very reasonable price. And I thought, should I or shouldn't I? Well, as you can see, I did. And I bought it. And it's basically, all it's going to be really used for is driving the boat, uh, all down to the boat and back, and for towing the boat up and down sort of thing. So it won't be doing many miles a year, that's for sure. Because it isn't the most economical of cars, as you would have probably guessed by looking at it. So, yeah, I went with, went with this. Um, like I say, it's only really for taking the boat up and down and going down to the boat. So I wanted to get something that was going to be a lot more reliable or more reliable. Because like I say, I'd only, I'd only really allowed for that car of mine to, uh, well, at least last for a year. Or a year more but with the way the things are going with cars and prices and all the rest of it well, i thought that came along and i thought well why not you can see the two probably side by side they're about the same length this one's a little bit higher on the right and obviously the engine's bigger in that one but um yeah so what i gotta do is go and get myself a tow bar for it fit that on the back and we'll be good to go for the uh spring i'm going to keep using the one on the left for a little bit and then i'll probably put it on the market get rid of it because i don't really need two cars or these two cars for the boat so anyway we'll catch you on the next video